I'm an artist of the additive type, so I'm the, not the kind of person that starts with a big block of stone and carves inwards. I'm much more likely to be the guy that starts with nothing and puts on a million pieces in a row until it looks just right. I've been making extreme costumes for the past 19 years. Being able to make this my full-time job is a dream career for me. My most important features aren't my individual skills as a craftsman, it's the ideas that I have. Some of the most exciting and most interesting experiences in my life have all happened because I was in a costume. I see something on a screen or an anime or a TV show or a comic book. I'm frequently thinking, can I make that? And so most masters of a given craft are people who are specialists in one or two fields that are unbelievably hyper-focused on that. In my particular case, it's simply that I am proficient in a gigantic range of materials and I use whatever the perfect material is for that particular job. The project of the hour is a Hulkbuster suit, which is a particular suit of armor that Iron Man wears in the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. This is the single largest, most domineering thing I've ever done in my life, and uh, I've, for this particular one, uh, I've been in the works on this for two years effectively. The Hulkbuster suit is 6 feet 6 inches wide, it is 44 inches thick, it is 9 feet 6 inches tall. I do this because I love it, because I love making things, I love a chance to express my creative side, and I love a chance to interact with people while I'm in costume. I love the performing side as well. I love being that character for a little while. When I get into this suit, uh, it's going to make me feel alive in a way that very rarely you get to feel in real life normally one has your ordinary job, whether or not you're a gas station attendant, a pizza delivery guy, or a stockbroker. You've got an ordinary life. And then sometimes you get to play to be the A-list star. For brief windows of time, you get to be the star of the show. And when I go to a place like New York Comic Con, for a brief window, for just a few days, I get to be a star too.